What's up bafflers? James Woodruff here. Office 365 is great, but today we're going to look at six free alternatives to create documents, presentations, and spreadsheets. Let's look at the top six free alternatives to Microsoft Office 365. We'll give each one a baffle rating. So let's have a look. The word processors, perfect for letters, labels, and more. The word processor has come a long way since being a physical computer. First up in the word processor line is Open Office Writer. In terms of its user interface, it's functional but very dated. For formatting and options, it doesn't have much modern document design, but it does have free clip art, which I like. Up next, file compatibility. This didn't fare too well as we had lots of formatting errors. Everyone needs a reliable spell check and luckily OpenOffice Writer did impress in that department. Next up, WPS Writer. This has a much more modern, familiar interface. Plus it has a feature which I actually wish Microsoft Office 365 had, which is a tabbed design. What you can do is organize a Word document next to a presentation, next to a spreadsheet, and it will be like web browser tabs. So you can just flick through each one and it just makes it look more organized. In terms of formatting on options, you have a great selection of options for everyday documents. In terms of file compatibility, it had great compatibility, just like Microsoft Word. The spell check didn't impress so much though. Whilst it managed to find the typos, the correct word was often the last suggestion. Next up, LibreOffice Writer. Now this shares a very similar footprint to OpenOffice Writer and unfortunately it does share the same dated interface. However, if you do like the classic word design with the toolbars, then you're in luck. For formatting and options, it's limited in terms of design. The default font on LibreOffice Writer was quite difficult to read on Windows, but again, you have free clip art. For file compatibility, it actually works well but did have a few margin issues. For the spell check, it actually had exactly the same result as OpenOffice Writer, which is a good thing because OpenOffice did very well. Next up is FreeOffice TextMaker. In terms of the user interface, it's most like Word and did actually on startup give you an option whether you wanted the ribbon or the classic menu interface. So no matter what side you're on, you should be in luck. In terms of formatting and options, it was unfortunately limited in terms of design. For file compatibility with Word documents, it works well, but with margin issues. Spell check was slightly strange. The check spelling button didn't work, but you can just check each word. Next up, the online favorite, Google Docs. Now the user interface is slightly unfamiliar if you're used to Word, but does work well. In terms of formatting options, it was slightly limited, but Google Docs features the full selection of Google fonts. It also features some very nice modern templates. Unfortunately, when it came to file compatibility, it did have poor formatting compatibility with Word documents. The spell check is very efficient, however, only gives you one suggestion. It did also manage to miss out a few typos. Next up is Microsoft Word Online. Now, you may not realize that Microsoft Word Online is actually free. However, it is slightly limited compared to the full paid for version. In terms of formatting and options, as all the usual features you expect from Word, Microsoft Word Online also features some great formatting options, such as the ability to add various preset headings and titles. File compatibility was very disappointing. In fact, it had lots of formatting errors with its own word format. The spell check didn't have a spell check window and you did have to check each word. It worked fairly well, but not quite as good as the Office 365 version of Word. Presentation programs. Want to make the best impression? Show your stuff with a shiny presentation. Let's start with OpenOffice Impress. It works, but unfortunately, the user interface has a dated design. For formatting and options, it has extremely limited templates, which do show the age and have the old 4x3 ratio by default. For file compatibility, it had many errors and overlapping text when you try to open a PowerPoint. Next up is WPS Presentation. In terms of the user interface, it's easy to create presentations and has the ribbon layout. I was very impressed by the free selection of templates and it was easy to add all the usual effects and it all looks very modern. For file compatibility, it works very well and has great formatting. 
Next up is LibreOffice Impress. It's easy enough to use, but still, like OpenOffice, it is old school. Fortunately, it had more templates on startup, however, they did look a bit dated. File compatibility worked fairly good, with a few glitches. Next up is FreeOffice Presentations 2018. The user interface has a familiar layout with easy navigation. For formatting and options, it has limited design options, which is a shame, and for some reason has 4x3 presentations by default. File compatibility was poor and it wasn't happy with the shapes and text. Now for Google Slides. It has a minimalistic user interface, but is easy to create presentations. The formatting and options has impressive templates with Google Fonts, and file compatibility actually worked well. Finally is Microsoft PowerPoint Online. It has a familiar design and it's easy again to create presentations. For formatting and options, it's well featured and has impressive layouts. File compatibility works well as you would expect. Spreadsheet programs from organizing your personal bills to creating impressive graphs. With a spreadsheet, you have all the data you need. Let's start off with OpenOffice Calc. It has a data design, and if you're not familiar with the menu layer, it can be tricky to navigate. For formatting and options, it has all the functions you would expect, so it did well in this department. File compatibility, it didn't fare so well. In fact, it had missing charts and spreadsheet errors. WPS Spreadsheets, it has a familiar modern layout, similar to Excel's layout. In terms of formatting and options, it has all the functions you would expect. It features some particularly jazzy free templates. File compatibility was great, except some small errors. Next up is LibreOffice Calc. Navigation can be tricky if you're not familiar with many layout. It's very similar to OpenOffice. For formatting and functions, it has everything you expect and the functions work well. File compatibility works well with small errors. Up next is FreeOffice Plan Maker 2018. It features a modern optional ribbon layout. As mentioned, you can switch between menu or ribbon layout depending on what you prefer. For formatting and functions, it had nicely laid out options for spreadsheets. File compatibility was good, but it did have some missing graphs. Next up is Google Sheets. As you expect from Google, it has a clean design, but does do the job. For formatting and functions, it seems to have everything you need with a good selection of templates. It did very well for file compatibility, except for some missing graphs. Microsoft Excel Online. This seemed to be the most similar to the desktop version. In terms of formatting and functions, it was laid out well and has almost everything like the desktop version. File compatibility was great and all the spreadsheets worked perfectly. Overall, I'm very impressed by the selection of Office programs that you can get for free and some programs have really exceeded my expectations. In fact, some of them are actually really close to being the full version of Microsoft Office 365. Before we get to the baffle ratings of the top six free office applications let me show you how i checked the spell check first off i went to wikipedia hmm let me find something interesting i know zebras i copied the first paragraph got rid of the citations and wikipedia guff then pasted it into the best worst spell check no it's actually called the anti-spell checker link in the description the paragraph is now typoed and ready for battle next i went through every spell check and marked the following plus two for the first suggestion plus one for second or lower suggestion then minus one for incorrect suggestion finally minus two if it missed out a misspelling thanks to some spreadsheet wizardry i added it to my review now the moment you've all been waiting for the results each free office application has been tested for youtube as well as using each suite for my personal work if you want to find out more about each office suite's compatibility with microsoft office formats check out my video link in the description we'll total up the good bad and the ugly to get the final baffle rating no seriously i used a spreadsheet and everything so here's the results in fourth place is open office so OpenOffice gets a baffle rating of two Bs. Next, in joint third place is LibreOffice and FreeOffice. LibreOffice and FreeOffice get a baffle rating of three Bs. In joint second place is Google Docs and Office Online. So Google Docs and Office Online get a baffle rating of four Bs. In first place is WPS Office. WPS Office gets a baffle rating of five Bs. It's the best free office suite. To download the free office suites, check out the links in the description. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Want me to test free office apps for Android and iOS? Any other free software you want me to review? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. 
follow me at Baffle Channel. Any questions, let me know down below. For the latest, head over to baffle.cc. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day.